Walt Disney World has been building resorts left and right, but in recent years, they all feel like deluxe resorts, and for many of us, it's out of our price range. It brings up a common question. We see all of these deluxe resorts. Are they ever going to build more moderate and value resorts in the future? My guess is yes. Now, why do I say that? Well, let's think about why Disney is building more resorts in the first place. Disney builds new resorts when they have more guests coming to the parks than their current resorts can handle. It's a smart strategy. It makes sense. More space for more guests. But that being said, the number of parks have not increased. So does this mean a fifth gate is on the way? It's likely, and I've made many videos about a fifth gate, but why would they continue to build only deluxe resorts? The reason is, it is just good business strategy. Even since the beginning of Walt Disney World, it's been this way with the Contemporary and Grand Floridian and Polynesian, and then you got Port Orleans, French Quarter, Pop Century, Art of Animation, all of those. So if we think about it in terms of how Walt Disney World began, it started with those deluxe resorts, and then it expanded to more moderate and value, and I think they're doing the same thing again. More of the deluxe resorts, and then they will expand to more moderate and value. Now, where does this assumption come from? Well, I decided to do a little bit of homework and went on the Walt Disney World website and just pretended I was going to be booking a trip for next week or two weeks or three weeks, and I took a look at which resorts were available. If you've been to Walt Disney World many times, especially during the springtime, you may already know this, but the availability was extremely limited. Whether it was one week away, two weeks away, or three weeks away, I was seeing a very little availability at some of the more affordable resorts. Now, if I was on the management team at Walt Disney World and I saw this, I would immediately say, we need more resorts. The reason why I think this makes so much sense is because when Disney makes new resorts like this, yes, they do make less money on value and moderate resorts than they do at deluxe resorts, but they have a captive audience. Everyone who is staying there is likely going to get food from there, maybe a few gifts from there, maybe their resort refillable mug. They're going to be right there. They're able to purchase more merchandise. That's more money for the company. It makes so much more sense rather than having them go to an off-site resort where immediately they can go to some outside shop, maybe they have a car, they can go to a different store, they do not need to stay on property and buy more merchandise. To me, if I was thinking in terms of the head of the company, this doesn't make as much sense and I would want to build more resorts right away. Let's imagine I'm right, and Disney is thinking the same thing, and they've already got plans for more value resorts. When could the timeline for this be? If I had to guess very, very soon, like D23 2019 or shortly thereafter, the biggest reason is because Universal Orlando is opening two new value resorts in 2019 and in 2020. Let's imagine I'm just a casual Florida vacationer. I just want to see some theme park. I'm not necessarily just going for Disney or just for Universal and I see Shoreside or Dockside for $89 versus a Disney resort for maybe $150. For me, I can immediately see why some guests are going to say, you know what, maybe I'll just stay at the Universal Resorts and take a car to Disney. And if you're in charge of Disney, this is not what you want to have happen, which is why I think we can expect an announcement of some new moderate or value resorts in the not so distant future. Now, just to make sure we're all being realistic with what Disney will be announcing in the future, if we don't hear anything at D23 2019 for a future resort, a value, or a moderate, I would not be surprised at all. Maybe it'll be next year in 2020. Disney Parks blog could do an announcement about it. It does not have to be at a big event like this. So we'll just wait and see, but I would imagine sooner rather than later. Those are my thoughts. I would love to hear from you. Do you think Disney needs more value and moderate resorts? Do you think this is all part of the plan? Or do you think maybe they're done with value and moderate and it's just going to be deluxe from this point forward? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.